that's a, just as the Egypt who who would be collecting folklore and, and fairy stories, especially ha ha the fairies. <laughs> but I always say to people, and I repeat it again and again and again, if you can't believe in the fairies, can't whatever about don't, you can't believe in God. The fairies. The real fairies now, not Tinkerbell and the little pointy ears, that, that nonsense. You could see a light at any time. That's a real bad area over there. There's so many people being killed there in that hill. Yeah, there is. Yeah. Uh, well, the features of a fort are very simple. There's no problem in recognising a fort. Once you've seen one, you've seen them all. Uh, a fort is, by and large, circular. A bank of earth all around it and growing on that bank of earth, uh, bushes, nearly always white thorn bushes. The, the white thorn tree, if you, there's a lone white thorn tree growing in a field. You're supposed never to cut it down. But people are more aware of them now, like everyone has maps of their land and we're in different schemes and uh, <coughs> they're, um, they're pointed out like as archeological sites. There's many stories of people who interfered with forts or fairy paths or bushes. That interference was very severe either for their health or for their families or for God only knows what, but always negative. Oh no, I wouldn't even cut a tree in it, no. No, just leave it alone. Nice, quiet place, yeah. Mm. Yeah, that interfered with nothing. But you'll always get the stupid fella who, who will just do it out of ignorance and idiocy. So we had a man in our place at home, and sure he didn't obey the orders, we'd say, but he cut it down. He went over home that evening, and he burst in the door at home, and he went off his head, and he was brought straight into the mental hospital. If, if the, the evil spirits, they say, uh, passing, uh, uh, going around the world, were being, they were responsible for stealing the fat, and, the, and you were paid, you were paid according to the butter fat, you see. So if the cows hadn't the butter fat, you were out. You have to steal butter. If you want to make butter yourself, you couldn't make it. You take away your luck. You'll be kind of nervous, all right, you know. But you'll be thinking about it, all right. We never had anything like that, no, no, thank God. No. If I told them, they'd just laugh at me. <laughs> you know what I mean? They don't believe in it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, very few believe it, you. They're, I suppose they're more educated than we were, I think. We'd be listening to it all the time. Long ago, sure, there's all the stories. You'd, by night, we heard something about the fairies or something, you know. But sure, there's none of that now. That's all gone. Technology may move, we may move, but these things don't move. These things were and are and will be the fairies. They were there and they are there. It's we who have changed. <laughs>